Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFergus.com and yes, we have another month of new products, new articles, uh, new science and updates from uh, the world of red light therapy. So we're going to get straight into it. So first up, we have some new products from Mito Red Light. Now, what's interesting is this company is really expanding in the world of red light therapy, but also some EMF biohacking sort of related products. Now, of course, I don't want to get too into the, the non red light therapy stuff because this is a red light therapy news update. Um, but they've got two products here. One is a PEMF mat. Um, this isn't related to red light therapy, but I, I'll, I'll just put it out there because some people may be interested in it. The other one though is a skincare product. Now you're probably thinking, all right, Alex, well, like if a PEMF mat isn't a red light therapy product, then a skincare product definitely isn't. But wait, this product is quite interesting because this is a serum uh, you, you apply to your skin, your, your face for instance, and they actually tested this. Uh, they sent the product to and, and the panels to uh, Poland and they did a study where they had the, the skincare serum on half the face and obviously nothing on the other half of the face. Now they fed, found that red light therapy itself uh, led to overall skin quality improvements, but those that were using the serum and red light therapy led to an even further um, increase in skin quality. So that was measured on factors such as wrinkles, elasticity, and melanin. So it's interesting. Um, hey, if you're in the red light therapy space and you're using these panels, a tabletop panel for instance, because you want to improve your skin quality, yeah, you might want to check this out. I'll put a link to it below. It's over at Mito Mito Red Light website. Now, Infrared uh, have their new Flex range. We've covered that in the last month or two. Um, I will have their new panel very, very soon, hopefully this week. And so I'll be reviewing it and hopefully getting a video out uh, later this month. So be sure to subscribe and hang around for that. They're also working on a pro series. Uh, they've just received approval from uh, Canada Health. Um, marking it as a medical device and they're waiting for FDA approval to come through as well. So that's kind of neat. They're also working on a series of wraps and pads such as a, a knee, knee wrap, a uh, body pad. So you'll be able to use this for injury or spot treating, uh, skin health. Um, yeah, I mean, quite interesting. I have the Mito Red wrap that I'm playing with at the moment and we'll share my thoughts on that later on. But uh, this is another one and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it maybe get one of these, maybe a knee one. It'd be good to, to experiment with since I have been having a bit of knee tendinitis every now and then. So, you know, just target treatment instead of standing by the panel. Platinum LED have their motorized horizontal stand. Now this has been a long time coming and it's been well received. I know a few people have already got it and they, they reckon it's amazing. It is quite expensive. It's about $700. I believe discount code Alex will save 5% on the stand, I think. Um, so it's a big jump up. I think their standard non-motorized stand was about two or three hundred dollars. However, the standard or the, the old stand uh, could only support two panels. This new one can support four, so you can get a full body treatment. Uh, you could use that, um, lie on a bed, have it shining the light down on you. Uh, again, well received so far, and I know a lot of people have been looking forward to a, a decent stand that they can use to support four, four panels. So that could be cool, especially if you're in a clinic setting, you know, you can tuck it away on the side of your room and then wheel it over, set it all up when you have a patient come in. Gimba Red have a bunch of new products on their website. Uh, a few of these I talked about in my interview with Andrew Latour earlier this year. So uh, there's some smaller panels in there and some other little red light therapy accessories, you know, night lights and stuff like that. Very cool. Um, I'll put links to all of those below. Head over to the website, check them all out. I won't go through them one by one. Root Care also have a new product. Uh, this is a curved panel and comes with a built-in stand. It's quite quite unique, but then I remember seeing a panel very similar to this many years ago and it was used on horses, racing horses. Um, it's massive, this panel. It's like 1,200 LEDs, quite expensive, 12,000 odd dollars. Yeah, obviously it's probably targeted more towards the you know professional setting, um, but kind of neat because I know some people, myself included, have been concerned when you have like your modular setup, so like four Biomax 900s all, all pieced together and you've got that big gap in the middle where you're, th and, and even I, when I'm standing in front of the panels, I think, is, is there a spot where I'm not being, you know, not, not 
getting much light exposure and, and one, uh, one comment I received was you should you know, mount them um, on an angle. Um, yeah, I mean this panel kind of does that low and it is a lot of money. Um, by the way, I do need to test that to see if there is a bit of a weak point because of that setup. I will be doing that one day. So stay tuned for that. All right, so that's it for new products. Let's look at new articles to hit the web. Quick interruption, I just wanna say this video is brought to you by Performance Lab Energy. The supplement is something I take every single day. It has PQQ, coenzyme Q10, RLA, L-carnitine. It's designed to help the body at a cellular level. This isn't like a cognitive nootropic that's gonna leave you pinging and then crash you know, two hours later. Just behind the scenes, good energy supplement. Check it out, I'll put a link to it below. All right, so I have five articles to share with you this month. The first one is from Platinum LED. And this is a rather epic article on using red light therapy for men mental acuity. So they look at um, the decline in, in brain function, cognitive function, brain fog, poor me memory, uh, inability to focus, all those sort of things. Um, and it's, like I said, it's a, really, it's a really good article looking at different wavelengths, um, different dosages, and how it can uh, improve or address those, those issues I just touched on. So... If that's something that you or your loved ones are concerned about, definitely check that article out. Links are below. Infraredi has created a blog post on my Jew versus Infraredi Max uh, comparison video. Um, so if you didn't, if you missed that and you want to check it out but don't want to watch the video, then check out that uh, blog blog article. Um, They've also revamped their blog page, so um, hopefully, you know, we might be seeing more articles coming out over there, so be sure to check that out while you're over there. Gimbreed again here deserve uh, another big shout out. They've published an excellent blog article on wavelengths and what wavelengths a panel should emit. Uh, going into great detail explaining why your traditional 660 and 850 nanometer lights are not flawed as such, no, that's the wrong word, limited. I mean, the, these other wavelengths out there are quite beneficial. And in fact, I often refer to the other wavelengths, you know, beyond your 660 and 850 as alternative wavelengths. And um, I, I received an interesting comment earlier today, and it's true, they, I shouldn't be using that term because they're not alternative, they're not like fringe or hippie or anything like that. Um, in fact, there's a lot more study and research behind some of these wavelengths than your standard, your traditional 660 and 850. So I may rephrase that term. Um, but yeah, for those that are still thinking, oh, I only want a 660 and 850, check out this article for, for, article from Gimbered, Gimbered, and also my interview with Andrew Latour earlier this year. Uh, Cyto LED has an interview with a Belgian CrossFit champ on the use of red light therapy. I really like what Cyto LED are doing. They're interviewing uh, a lot of leaders in the industry um, and they're putting out some really great content. So that's another newsletter you want to jump on. Otherwise, uh, I'll do, do my best to share their, their new articles in this video series. Huga have some new articles on their blog. Uh, one is on green light therapy and migraines. Uh, it's interesting to see um, you know, these other light, light waves, light waves, these other colors coming into blog articles, but also into the odd product as well. Um, whether we're gonna see more of this, I'm not, well, I, I think we will, because yeah, there is some interesting science uh, behind some of these other wavelengths, colors, wavelengths. Um, so check that out if you're interested in that, and I think Huga sells some products on there um, with these other colors, so check it all out. All right, and then this month's science review, we look at a paper titled The Functions and Mechanisms of Low-Level Laser Therapy in Tendon Repair. Now remember, low-level laser therapy can also be called um, photobiomodulation or red light therapy. Traditionally, it used to be lasers. Now we're using LEDs with the same effect. So this article goes into how uh, red light therapy can be used and when it should be used uh, if you're recovering from a tendon injury or ten tendon, tendon issue. Now, I personally had a bit of tendonitis earlier this year and that was just simply from overtraining with some big loads, lots of rowing, very little rest. So I, I was obviously using my red light therapy and um, it was all good, but of course I kept pushing myself in the gym and I didn't back off lo uh, long enough, but I, I'm sure the red light therapy was helping uh, despite me still having some pain in there for, for a while, we're pretty good now, so that's good. Uh, but this study looked at using the red light therapy at different phases of recovery with a tendon injury. So it goes into, it breaks down the, the different stages 
that um, of repair um, of a tendon. I'm not going to go through them all because there's some quite technical terms here and to be honest I don't quite understand some of them but maybe if you're into physiotherapy or you know you work on the body this this may interest you the more technical side of things but pretty much the research has found that during all phases of tendon recovery there was benefit of applying uh, light which was great the researchers stated that uh, as well as your typical treatment for uh, tendon issues such as rest icing um, painkillers etc that light therapy can also be added to the repertoire uh, and, and you can expect to see benefits there. Um, they looked at different power levels and also different wavelengths. Unfortunately, it didn't get into too, too specific of a protocol, which was a shame. Like it would have been nice to see more specific, you know, wavelengths and, and dosing rates. And that is because this was a review study looking at 54 different studies um, of light and their benefit or their effect on tendons. So, it, again, this is why it's so hard, you know, I still get questions, hey, what, uh, I've got arthritis in my shoulder or in my knee, like, what should I use, what panel, what product, what wave wavelengths, it's so tricky, uh, but the, the overall summary here was, yes, that near-infrared light, uh, red light with a length of 600 through to 1,000 nanometers, so that's, that's the red light range plus your near-infrared light, which is what we typically see in a lot of panels, um, was promoting tendon repair to a large extent. That's what it has in the, in the paper here. Um, we've also checked that uh, Vladimir's, I hope I said his name right, Heis, Heiskins, uh, sorry, I apologize Vladimir, I don't know how to say your last name, but I'll put a link to his uh, resource below. He's got an epic data sheet with all thousands of uh, these studies. And yeah, there's many different wavelengths that have been shown to be beneficial for joint pain and tendon pain healing and recovery. So pretty much it means, hey, look, if you've got a tendon issue, use red light therapy. Question of the month, how do I use red light therapy today? Now I'm gonna do a video on this. It'll be easy to answer it in a video, but I pretty much use my red light therapy all around my training now. I'm training five, sometimes six times a week. Uh, I use it as part of my warm-up routine. I just strip down to my undies. I have my four Biomax quads on, on one wall and then uh, the slimmer ones on the side. I do five minutes, say, on one side, turn around, do five minutes on the other. While I'm doing that, I'm doing my power breath, power breath um, warm-up, um, diaphragm training. I'm using my katsu bands for blood flow. Um, and planning my workout for the session. So that's typically three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I don't wear goggles. Like I said, I'm in, in my briefs or undies. Um, I use my Biomax 900 full power. So you get in your, your 660 plus the, the other wavelengths they have in there and the near infrared light. Uh, and again, four to six times a week, probably on average, maybe four times, five times a week. I'm, I'm using it, maybe 10, 15 minutes. The other day, or yesterday, I was doing some interval training and I was doing long rests in this particular session, four minute rest. I was actually coming up and doing one minute recovery, or one minute sessions uh, on my legs and back um, in those interval rests as well. Because I have read a little bit about ATP synthesis, like boosting uh, recovery, like short term recovery there. So that was one thing that, you know, I just experimented with the other day. I did hit a PB on that session, whether it was a red light, I'm not too sure. Um, but um, yeah, that's how I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a video though, explaining, uh, going into more detail on this, so be sure to uh, hang around and subscribe for that. Okay, now finally, uh, what videos and content do I have coming out? Well, I have the review of the Luminos Red Model 1. Uh, that's the panel with the separate brain, which is pretty neat. Uh, the Mito Red 300 tabletop panel, I've literally just finished filming that, so that'll be out in a couple of weeks time. I've got a video on the dangers of combining red light therapy and sauna, and also red light therapy in the shower. I'm hoping to get a Biomax 300 to review. Uh, the, that'll be another tabletop panel. Once I've got maybe one or two more tabletop panels, I can start working on the comparison series that'll be out later this year. And yeah, finally, uh, I started doing some more educational videos on red light therapy. So my first one's gone out. That was everything you need to know about Flickr and red light therapy. So I'll put links to that below. Um, if, you, if there's anything you want me to cover or products you want me to check out, I'll do my best. I get so many comments like, hey, what do you think of this panel? Can you look at this one? Masks, all that sort of stuff. Um, I really only do like two, three reviews a month. Uh, so, you know, if you're doing one panel, one tabletop, like 
it's it takes a lot of time so yeah i'd love to review like all of these devices but it's just it's just too full on so feel free to send them through i'll do my best but i can't make too many promises anyway if you've enjoyed this thumbs up if you want to buy any red light therapy product use discount code alex alex chances are it will save you a couple of dollars um and it helps me create uh these videos and um yeah, keep doing what i'm doing so i appreciate that all right guys i'll see you later bye